Welcome to Affinity Designer. In this video, I'm going to be exploring snapping and dynamic guides. Snapping is a process by which tool cursors or selected elements are pulled toward document elements or particular positions. This aids with accurate object placement and helps create crisp, consistent designs. Snapping's pseudo-magnetic nature is reflected in its icon, positioned here on the toolbar. This icon is a toggle. In this position, snapping is inactive and movement within the document view triggers no snapping. However, if you click the icon, snapping becomes active. Now, when the cursor moves across the document view, it is pulled toward particular positions on the page. If you try it for yourself, you'll feel this snapping sensation. Along with the magnetic pull, you'll get a visual cue of snapping in the form of dynamic guides. When snapping to a horizontal position, a red node shows the target point and red lines extend to the element causing the snap. In this case, the page is midpoint. When snapping to a vertical position, these guides are green. If snapping both vertically and horizontally, the node turns yellow. As you can see, my cursor is positioned to the right of the page's midpoint, but in reality, if I draw my shape, it is created from the snapping position indicated. Snapping to particular points on a page is a default snapping behavior and is just one example of an element which can be snapped to. You can change this default behavior from this pop-up panel. You can choose a preset from this pop-up menu, which will set the snapping elements for you. We'll look at how you can use these presets in our other video tutorials. Alternatively, you can selectively choose which elements will cause a snap by selecting its checkbox. And if you want to use the settings in the future, you can store this as a preset. Although snapping is extremely useful, there may be times when you want to break away from it. You can, of course, permanently disable it here, or you can temporarily disable it by holding down the Option key on a Mac or the Alt key on Windows while performing your chosen option. So that covers the basics of snapping and dynamic guides. However, before I close this tutorial, I also want to make you aware of two other dynamic guides you might encounter. If I activate Snap to Grid and then display a triangular grid, you'll spot that the red dynamic guides now correspond to the first axis and the green dynamic guides correspond to the second axis. Alignment with the up axis is indicated by blue dynamic guides, as are any other vertical snapping positions such as the page's midpoint, and orange dynamic guides correspond to horizontal snapping positions. If you'd like to find out more about snapping or grids, please see our other video tutorials or our comprehensive help system available from the help menu. Thanks for watching.